Hello everyone and welcome back to the Odious Soul. It is Shannon and again it's morning and I have no makeup on and my hair is probably a mess. But I came out to my garden to get um, pick all the lovely fresh vegetables that were ripening before the day got too hot. And, and I found something that I really wanted to share with you guys. So lots of change in the garden. I am all my original zucchini and squash plants are gone. Um, I had pulled like five of them out because none of them have had fruit on them. And I was like, oh, well, like bugs and like squash bug nymphs, like things were just becoming too much of an issue. So I left one. I ended up pulling that one too. Um, one of the fruits ended up with blossom and rot. And then the other one, once it was ready, I just pulled the plant and was like, okay, I'm done with this area. And I planted something else over there. Um, so I have the raised beds, which I had the two butter stick squash. Those are still holding on. However, I have picked hundreds of squash bug eggs off of them. And I have found and squished two squash bugs that were on them. So frustrating. But then I had the two zucchini plants in the bed next to it. And oh, Ellis is coming to say hello. But um, so the one of the zucchini plants I had to pull a few days ago, I wanted to stake up my plants. I saw a tutorial on how to do it. <clears throat> now that I've seen some squash plants grow, I know how to have them grow up as opposed to growing six feet through your garden. So I was like, let's do it that way. So when I went to put the stakes in, <clears throat> just to have them in there so the plant can kind of be tamed around it or up it, um, I noticed that when the zucchini plants had um, squash vine bore damage. Uh, so I had to pull it. So I still had the other one. It's like, okay, cool. One plant by itself should be good. Hopefully, well, I just came out here this morning and I inspect these bad boys every day because I'm fighting to keep them with my life. And I found evidence of squash vine bore damage. All right, so what I've been doing is, because even on these smaller plants, I've noticed the big squash bugs tend to like harbor down in the middle and the bottom. Um, so every day I come out, I turn over all the leaves, look for damage, and then I look down at the bottom and I, immediately pulled this off and that is let me try to get that in focus that is um definite evidence of squash vine bore um, there we go like you see how it's like just mushy and gross so i this just fell off and then if you look inside of here you can see the little bad boy he's right there he is right here that is the culprit, that thing with like the dark head. So I went and I just got like a metal stick, all right? And we're just going to, let me scoot back here. We are just going to take the stick and stab him. Uh, and try to get it through his little body. And then we're going to bring him out. And there we go. That It's that simple. I'm gonna stick the stick down inside just in case there's any more. Um, and it doesn't seem like it's that deep of a cavern. So I don't think that there's any more in there, but just gotta poke around, stab, you know, just, and yeah, I know he's sitting there all sad and upset because he's dying. But you know what? He ate my plant. I don't like him. He's not my friend. Okay, so now that I killed the bad guy and he is no longer in my plant, what do I do? Well, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna build up the dirt around this hole and the dirt can actually kind of act like a band-aid for this hole. So give me a second, I'm gonna grab some dirt and we're gonna pack it in. All right, so here you can see how I just took extra dirt and I packed it in around the base so that hole is no longer exposed. I did this to my other zucchini plant. I had one that had more extensive um, squash, vine, boar, bug um, damage, and it was amazing, like how it, it still survived. None of the leaves turned yellow. I mean, of course, they turn yellow at some point, but I mean, it held on for at least another six weeks. 
um, without, and even when I pulled it, it still had a lot of like life still going through it. So this will work. Um, depending on how much damage there is to that main vine, um, that's the question, but it doesn't hurt to try. It doesn't hurt to try to save your plants. Um, you know, you are your gardener's doctor, so give it a try. So finding things like that is definitely very disappointing. It's upsetting, it's heartbreaking. You know, you put your time and your energy into these plants and we're getting down to where I have less than 70 days of growing time in my season. I think our first expected frost to fall is October 11th. So it's not like I wanna start another seed and try. And that can be devastating when a plant, you know, just doesn't survive. It's heartbreaking. But at the same time, this is what gardening is all about. You have to get out there as often as you can. And I know some people have truly busy lives and they can't put as much attention, but that's okay. It's okay, do what you can do. Put as much attention and energy in it as you can and never feel bad when something goes wrong because guess what, in gardening, things are gonna go wrong. You know, as soon as I think that pest damage is done, a new pest comes and decides to, you know, show me what he's all about. These stupid squash bugs, oh my gosh, like seriously, will they ever go away? It's like we're in August, it is, it is August 8th and I'm still seeing all kinds of squash bug damage. Um, this morning I also noticed that I have like stink bug looking like things on some of my fruits, like from the peppers to the tomatoes, um, and even on the green beans. And I'm like, uh, and I'm seeing brown spots on fruits. I'm like, oh my gosh, like you've got to be kidding me. So things are going to go, things are going to happen. Things are going to not be perfect, but that's part of gardening. It's learning and exploring and trying to conquer. And let me tell you what, like I just killed a squash bug and or a squash vine boar caterpillar that was eating the inside of my plant if this plant lasts another month i'm gonna feel like i healed it like i conquered the world like it's gonna make me feel amazing you know and i'm not gonna let this one little disgusting guy ruin my day <laughs> i'm it's sitting over here i'm thinking like hmm, should i bring it over here and show you guys um but sometimes you just gotta, you know, do what you gotta do. But the big thing to remember is that all these ups and downs, all these easy to grow and hard to grow, all these successes, all these failures, it just makes every single vegetable, every single fruit that you pull from your garden even more special, even more meaningful. It lets you really appreciate <laughs> how much that thing had to go through in order to be here, in order to be consumed. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and go get growing.